Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. In the beginning, when we formed our first mission committee around 1986, we were all young in our 30s and early 40s. Since I was in the mission committee in my church in Boston, I, I was the most experienced member in that group, first group. So I got elected to be the mission committee chair. I kind of mean now that that one year experience just helped me to know that mission committees should promote mission and work as missionaries for the church. The very first project that we had promote, pro promoted was for each Sunday school class to write letters to Southern Baptist missionaries. And uh, beyond that, to be honest, I have no idea what else I should do. So when I stumbled into this thing called ACMC, Association of Mission, Church Mission Committees, I was very eager to go to all the conferences they held, they held and learn everything I, I can how to run a mission committee. So needless to say, CBOC got the missionary chair learning on the job. In 1994, our annual dream day, we, did, we dreamed about adopting a people group. One of the few things that I learned from the ACMC conferences. So you heard a story from Pastor Lum about how, what we did with that dream. This is Vivian Helton, a, a close, better picture of her. And uh, she came to us on 1994 Mission Sunday in February, and he brought, she brought materials on down people. What she did not know is in January's mission, uh, dream, after Dream Day, we have decided, mission committee, we need to adopt a Chinese uh, rich people group because we figured that's easier for us to convince the church to adopt this idea to go to China uh, and rich people group. So, <clears throat> because it will, so it, we see God's hands behind all this work. Uh 我们就看到了神的手清楚的在背后的支持我们，我们也清楚的看到神对这一个族群的拣选。But there was also my personal struggle behind our first mission trip to the Down people. 但我也在第一次向动族人宣教的背后呢，也有个人的挣扎。We budget in 1994 and decided that the first team in summer of 1995 should be six people with Henry Wang, our mission intern from Biola, who was helping us to arrange the trip, being one of the six. Henry Wang We all decided that we should be let the church members and the pastors and staff to sign up first before the member of mission committee can sign up for that team. Uh, I figured that a trip to rural China in 1995 was not exactly a luxury cruise, and that would have a very good chance to sign up after giving the rest of the church the first opportunity. 那当时我在想，就是九五年的一个中国农村之行，并不是一次豪华游轮之行，所以在给教会其他成员第一个机会以后，我就有了报名的好机会了。To my amazement, the five spots were quickly taken up. Needless to say, I was very disappointed in not being able to be on the first team. 但是令我惊讶的是呢，五空五个空位很快就被抢走了，所以我就呃。As I laid my heart out to God, God gave me a vision one day when I was taking a shower. 
、呃，我就非常失望，然后我就跟神祷告。在我有一次洗澡的时候呢，神给我看了一个意象。He put an image of an old man keeping a campfire. 他给我一个图面，就是一个老人呢在守着萤火。The old man was alone, but soon others returned to the camp from their hunting and fishing trips. 老人呢是一个人，但是他在期待着其他人从呃打猎或者是捕鱼中回到营地。They gathered around the fire, cooking over the fire, and shared stories. 他们聚集在火堆旁，在火上做饭，分享故事。Then they disappeared again to the to their hunting and fishing, leaving the old man alone. 然后他们又散开了去打猎或捕鱼，留下老人一个人。Then God put a thought into my mind: You will be that old man keeping the fire. 然后上帝就在我的脑海中给我这个想法：我将成为那个守火的人。Your job is to keep the fire burning, so others have place to come back to, to gather, to rest, and to prepare for their trips. 神给的我的工作呢，就是保持火的燃烧，以便其他人从其他地方回来以后，能够聚集，能够休息，能够为他们的旅行做准备。Ever since then, that has become my guideline for leading or supporting the mission committee. 从那时那次以后呢，这个就成为我之后领导或是支持宣教委员会的一个准则。So one way to keep the fire is definitely prayer, but We also made an effort to provide other support through financial needs. First is our、uh, investment to make sure people felt called by God will not let money be the reason why they stop pursuing. Then, in our annual budget, we made sure we set aside some money to enable the team to visit our missionaries in the field for caring. Finally, we just recently started a retirement fund to ensure. Our retired missionary could use their gifts to add fuel to the fire. As you saw, we we always surround everything we do with prayers. So even though I was not able to be on the first team in 1995, God opened the door to China for me in December 1996 via a company paid business trip. This was God affirming His call for me to go to China to work as a tent maker in 1987. Later that same December, I went to Guilin to talk to a local pastor about working with us to reach the down people during our family vacation. In 2000, I got the opportunity to prayer walk with in the down area with a team. From Hobbs Crossing Baptist Church in Georgia, who also adopted Down people, before we went for the first Down consultation meeting with me and Michelle representing our church. After those trips to China, God engineered the career change for me, from the manager of new product design development to managing manufacturing and quality. As I got the company assignment to build two factories in China from ground up. I have to learn to work with people instead of working with things and products. My wife and I moved to Suzhou, China, in 2006 and lived there until 2015. In those years, God blessed us tremendously as we worked with other Christian expats, working with the local Chinese churches, and led English Bible studies to help drawing people into the churches to learn English and Jesus for free. In 2010, we inherited a small English Bible study group from another Christian couple and kept it going and growing over the next four years in our house. The greatest blessing was a young waitress we invited to our home Bible study decided on her own that she won't get baptized in 2013 and join the local church. So when we go on mission with God, this passage is not just a priestly blessing. But the Lord's blessing to us every day. So, our mission is His story. When you go with God, God will bless us. Thank you.